Night Shadow and Itchy Feet. They've left the others behind. Lorena was pulled up before the last. And it's Itchy Feet in front now with about a two, three length advantage, Gavin Sheehan. And Itchy Feet is the winner of the Betway Silly Isles. Fitz is third, the others look held. Brewing up a storm has a six length advantage. Racing into the final hundred yards and striding further away. With every stride, Brewing up a storm has romped the Betway hurdle by a wide margin. Towards the outside is Thomas Darby. Thomas Darby running a little in front. I was just a little bit starey, but he's gone clear now by three lengths. And it will be Thomas Darby who wins for champion Richard Johnson. and is in command, pushed clear by six or seven lengths and looks a nice prospect. Go Dante is winning this readily, coming clear to score decisively. Go Dante for Barbara Hester, Aidan Coleman and Ollie Murphy. Kahina Rules is second, tight for third. Alongside, 150 yards to go. Tamar Bridge now noses the lead on the near side, pounding poet as they race up towards the line. Tamar Bridge and pounding poet in a close finish to the finale. Heading inside the final 100 yards and going away, Mackleduff under Aidan Coleman had too much speed from in the straight and went on to win by three lengths. Advantage, Crambo is gathering ahead of momentum though, gathering some steam close in. Butch now being worn down by Crambo, who's getting up to defy his penalty. Crambo under a good ride from Connor Brace, just worries Butch out of it.